This is going to be a bit weird. Just um, the correct amount of ridiculous. Let's see. Yes, just ridiculous enough. So Rachel, let me introduce you to Officer Blackhead. Hi. Officer How are you? Blackhead. Hi. This is Officer Genesis. I'm Rachel. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yay. You might want to check with the man first. Do you mind? We're just checking in. <laughs> I love the idea of generosity contagion, that we can have a lovely experience on the street and it builds up our capacity to be generous and lovely to other people that we meet later on in the day. It is time for the lobby. I believe that sparkle is very underused in social justice. See this, we just very a little bit. This glue is very strong, so it's going to start to stick and fix. Glittery things are this secret weapon of social justice where you can interrupt people's genuine grievances to focus instead on what is possible. Welcome to the Wisdom Pavilion. The first step is to have tea. Would you like tea with sugar and milk? Yeah. Voila. And just go on through and sit on the seat. Just clip this onto your collar. Um, how old were you when you first realised there was a criminal justice system? Um, maybe around 13, 14. I was hanging out with some friends and we was on a corner and um, an officer came out and said we have to move and i lived in the neighborhood so i tried to explain to the officer hey why do we have to leave and um, it went south and that situation could have changed if maybe we both had an understanding of both roles that's me being a civilian and him being a, a law enforcement officer the Wisdom Pavilion is designed to be an otherworldly, wonderful, generous, surprising pavilion inside what is often a very grim reception space. What were central bookings like? Nasty, disgusting. Um, just want to get home from there. You just want to go home. And you don't know how long you're going to be in there? You just don't know. The Public Artist in Residency program pairs city agencies with artists to answer a certain question or pursue a certain problem using their artistic expertise. We selected Rachel because she demonstrated very deep understanding of the work that we do. Part is that you are wise. I've been working with the Department of Probation for years. This was kind of a dream invitation because they really wanted the public artist in residence to work with staff and clients. The complexity of the work that we do requires that sometimes you think outside of the box. So we figured art would be a good way to do that, right? If anyone can, can argue against that, please tell me. People who are on probation tend to have a general mistrust of the system. What works with one person may not work with another. That requires the setting up of essentially a transformational relationship with the person. And most people who are in the justice system don't believe that's one possible or two, they've never seen it before. There is a direction that some of these young men and women can take to better themselves, to move forward. They don't see it yet, but I can see it. 
The relationship between probation officers and clients, when it's most productive, it's collaborative. And that's what we're seeking to do here, is to have the people under supervision be very much partners in developing their own case plans and, and setting their own goals. What's most important to me is me finding where I want to be at in life. I was all over the place. I didn't really care about anything or what anybody had to say. Now I will take the time to listen. Before she started working with us, Rachel did an agency-wide sort of meet and greet tour, talking with people and seeing the spaces and meeting people. <laughs> I was really struck by the wisdom of the community and the conversations I had, and I wanted to create an art modality that could capture that wisdom and turn it into some kind of atlas. And so from time to time, I'm also going to be filling out this map. I want to make a hundred of these to capture the wisdom that's inside the Department of Probation. Okay. So I wrote down the word community because I really saw that you were a part of something bigger. You are growth. You are understanding. You are truth. And you are good energy. Rachel's project is both engaging but potentially challenging, especially for a skeptic. Do you want to share about that story in more detail? Not really. I mean, I, I don't know what, I don't know how to say it. If you came in thinking, what is that doing at probation? The process of engagement in the Wisdom Pavilion will break down that resistance by showing some vulnerability. She is. <laughs> and that, we know, actually builds trust. That's how you guys do it? What? No, you need to lock it. Oh. Exactly. By being generous, you afford other people the chance to also be generous. In my wildest dreams, I would take a trip to heaven to see my mother. That's what I would do. Yeah. There's a tremendous amount of secondary trauma that staff can experience, and so even people who are incredibly well-intentioned can still have a difficult time engaging people effectively because it's just incredibly draining and emotionally challenging. Some clients make it really hard for the officer to communicate. When you engage with people that have a lot of trauma, you hear their stories and they may have behaviours that are really informed by their trauma experience. And when you do this eight hours a day, it can be extremely fatiguing. We have a very diverse workforce that covers one of the largest cities with one of the most diverse population. So often the question of how you engage staff and how you engage people that we service in a way that is healthy and that everyone feels supported. Using art in that space made perfect sense. I love this thing. I don't even know where to start with this. What Rachel is trying to accomplish through the Wisdom Pavilion is expose the humanity of each person, each individual who steps in there, and in so doing, expose us to each other's humanity. I feel really lucky to be in community with you all, and I'm really proud of everyone that's involved in this. And this is a way to say, yes, so many people in New York City have incredibly difficult challenges, and we're also generous, creative, and visionary, and we can hold these two truths at the same time.